Okay, I really like this question. Like, I really, really like it. So, as you guys know, I'm going to be doing way more of these, okay? So, if you want to become a Patreon member and support or a YouTube member, link in the description. All you have to do is click on that and join, man. But it's only $2 per month, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys want to support, please do. It means the world to me. Really helps out the channel. Um, it helps me continue to do what I'm uh, what I'm doing. And right now, Patreon members, I think there's only like 23. I love all 23 of you. And I think there's only 26 YouTube members. I love all 26 of you. But please, there's way more people that watch the videos. So if you want to support, go support there. Or if you just want to support one time or a couple times, uh, I got a merch shop as well, clanthemerchfan.com. Com. So let's dive into this question about the draft, and I, I really like it. I want some Are we having fun yet? All right, Eric has something to say. So I posted this on Patreon, and I said, hey, just let me know anything that you want a video on, any questions that you have. Joe, I'm going to probably get to yours another time, but we're, we're going to go with we're going to go with Eric's because I really like uh, Eric's question here. Um, and by the way, you've been a member for a while, my boy. Thank you. Uh, but anyways, what it says, uh, what do you think about the Spurs taking Jairus Walker or Cam Whitmore over the Thompson twins if they drop around five or six? Something about two 20-year-olds playing against teenagers has me not sold on them. I, I actually said this. <laughs> I actually completely agree with this. I am not fully on board with the Thompson twins. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, Amin is like really good. Like he is really talented, super fast, um, got eyes at the back of his head. Like he's he's going to be a good point guard or, you know, guard in general in the NBA. Like I do, I do believe that. Um, Asor, uh, Asor uh, Usar, God, I cannot say their name. Usar, the other Thompson twin. Um, I know that people don't give him as much praise, but I do think that he's going to be a decent defender. And I think he utilizes his body much more than his brother. So like while Amin is going to be the one that gets the, the higher pick and he, he is more talented, I do like Usar a little bit more as far as what he is right now. So one has a higher ceiling, one has a higher floor in my opinion. But with that being said, that is an issue for me. The fact that they are older and they're playing in a league full of like 16 to 19, 20 year olds, right? Another thing as well, and I know that it might seem like kind of contradicting or a little messed up, but I mean, if we talk about our boy, Don Barlow, he came from that league, league as well. But the difference is he was undrafted. So I was totally okay with that risk because he was undrafted. Like it's only up from there, you know what I mean? But if we're talking like, okay, we tanked this whole season and now we're trying to get a cornerstone for the team, do we go with the Thompson twins? I don't know about that. I, I just don't know. But with that being said, the two players that you mentioned, Jairus Walker and Cam Whitmore. Um, so I've already talked, I mean, I talked about both of them already and we still have so many other prospects to get through. But Jairus Walker, I really do like him as far as like what he brings uh, to, what he would bring to the team as far as his defense. Um, and he does have a quite a bit of upside even offensively. But defensively, he can guard basically one through five. Amazing footwork. Knows how to utilize his size pretty well. Athletic. I really like him. I, I really do. Uh, but with that being said, it's also one of those situations where if you put him on the team, I know a, peop a lot of people said, dude, imagine him with, with Jeremy Sohan. But I'll be honest with you guys. Guys like this, you only really need one of them if you want to be successful in the NBA. I mean, if you look around the NBA and you look at teams that have won championships lately, you only really need one of those types of players, right? I mean, I would argue that maybe like the Bucks, you got Giannis. I mean, you look at the Golden State Warriors, you got uh, Draymond Green. I mean, these guys that's like kind of the cornerstone of your defense or whatever, you, you, you don't really need two of them. So that's one thing that would worry me. Like I understand like on paper that would be like, oh my God, that's amazing. But I don't necessarily think that in reality, it would really matter that much. So when it comes to the Spurs alone, like who, who do I think Jairus Walker is the way to go? I don't, I don't know. But you know what? You gave me those two options. And without a doubt, okay, I would go with Cam Whitmore. Like, without a doubt. Dude has so much upside. It is absolutely insane to me that this dude is not, like, top four. I mean, you said five or six, but I'm, I'm shocked that he's not even top four. I'm not even in the discussion for, like, the third overall because he is so freaking good. I mean, his step back is so clean. Um, he has so much control. 
I, I just love everything about his game. There's nothing I necessarily dislike. Um, I even did a video and I think I think I made it or the title like Cam Whitmore is him. Um, it, he is just so freaking good, dude. <laughs> like he's he's so controlled. Um, he he is he is going to be a really really good scorer. He can do a little bit of everything. I, I just really like him. I mean, I, I I do. So if we're talking about if the Spurs were to go five or six, would you go with Cam Whitmore? Without a doubt, easily. Okay, easily. Okay. If I, I'll tell you like this, and I would do it over the Thompson twins. If your boy um, Vic is gone, uh, your boy uh, Scoot Henderson is gone, uh, Brandon Miller more than likely if he's gone. I think next up I'll probably go with Cam Whitmore. Actually, let's look at let's look at, 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 at a mock draft real quick. Yay. Let's see. Here we go. All right, so they got Vic Scoot. Okay, so I would take Vic over Cam, Scoot over Cam, Brandon over Cam. I don't think I would take Thompson over Cam. I wouldn't take the other Thompson over Cam. Uh, I would take Cam over Jairus. They just went to seven. They put Grady. Grady. Did. Yes, Cam is better than Grady. Anthony. Bla Wait, what's going on with this list? Ten? Are they crazy? Yeah, no, 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 no. Cam went more overall. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm a roll with that. If we got four overall, the fourth overall draft pick, and he's available, I will go with Cam. As of now, you know, my opinion might change. You know, as I look at more prospects, but as of right now, that's what I would go with. That is absolutely insane for them to put Grady Dick way over Cam like that. That's wild. But uh, anyways, I'll give it to you guys later. Thank you so much for uh, the question. If you guys want to support, uh, please become a patron or YouTube member. I'm Like I said, I'm sticking to this, okay? I'm sticking to it. So if you guys want to support, please do. It means the world to me. It really helps out the channel. And I'm going to be asking more questions uh, like these, you know, not only because it helps with, you know, you know, chugging out some content, but it also um, it is good to give back to, to those who are giving so much. So I do appreciate all you guys. Thank you for the love. I know that I don't say that enough um, for the Patreon YouTube members. I I've been terrible. I've been a terrible person, but I have changed. OK, I am a changed man. So if you want to support, please do. All right. I'll give it to you guys later. Till next time. Bye.